Yo, what is good YouTube? I am Richie Kim, and today I'm going to be bringing you all my first impression of the Jordan Superfly MVP L. If you all enjoy sneaker content just like this, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. But anyways, let's get right into it. As always, starting off with the traction, the Jordan Superfly MVP L features this circular traction pattern where the circular traction patterns are basically like segmented on the shoe so there's one here 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 and you know it just like pretty much runs across the whole bottom of the shoe so i have played in these once already and the traction was really nice so far even on my dusty cord that i've been playing on recently the traction held up just fine so hopefully the traction continues to play that way because the traction is really really nice so moving on to the cushion, which is like the main reason I bought the shoe, is the shoe features full length react, but I can't really feel it, which is kind of a disappointment because this is like basically the same thing that they did in the regular Superfly and the Hyperdunk 2017. Maybe not exactly the same, but you just can't feel the react. So this gray part is what I believe is the React foam, but there is also like this white part around the midsole and it's some kind of rubber or like really, really hard foam, which totally negates the feeling of the React, which is super disappointing. Even on the medial side, the React is covered in the heel and in the forefoot. You know, I'm hoping over time the cushion does break in and this stuff softens up so you can really feel that React. But as of right now, the cushion isn't that impressive and it actually feels really, really stiff to play in. Moving on to the materials, the Superfly MVP L features a full synthetic leather, at least on this version. I think the other versions have synthetic leather as well. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they do. The material does feel really, really stiff at first. And like I said, I've only played in these ones. So I'm really hoping that the materials do soften up because you could definitely feel the stiffness of the materials. I thought the materials in the forefoot were stiff, but in the back area, it's super stiff. You can definitely feel like that you're wearing a shoe because the materials are just that stiff. But the shoe does also feature this mesh up here, which is pretty nice considering it's a mesh. I'm hoping over time that the materials just throughout the whole shoe really soften up because it's really not too fun to play in right now. Moving on to the fit, I can tell you that these are pretty true to size. For me, they're like slightly narrow in the forefoot, which is weird because they don't look that narrow, but I did have a little bit of pinching pain on the sides of my forefoot. But other than that, I would say it's true to size. To me, overall, the shoe just feels like super clunky. And going along with the fit is the support. Support on the forefoot was really good. I haven't had any issues yet, and I haven't had any heel slippage as well. Mainly because what I believe is like this back part right here is the heel counter and it's really, really stiff, just like the rest of the shoe. You can definitely feel that you're wearing something on your feet. And for me, it felt very restrictive around my ankle. So from my first impression of the shoe, definitely not great. The traction is really nice, but everything else is just, I don't know. I really hope everything breaks in and the shoe ends up being a really nice performer. But as of right now, everything is super stiff and it just really does not feel that great to play in. That's it for my first impression of the Jordan Superfly MVP L. If you all enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below and smash that thumbs up button for me as it really does help me out. While you guys are at it, check out this video on my left and on my right and that's pretty much it. Until next time, peace.